When do you download Command Workstation? Well, if you're downloading Command Workstation for normal users in an office, you're wasting your time. You should download Command Workstation for office users only for the production minded or maybe power users that work in marketing. Some people, not all of them, may benefit from Command Workstation in the marketing department sometimes. Not always. If you're working with the results, which most likely are small print shops, at that point, most of them will want to work with Command Workstation and may be familiar with it. When it comes to Versant 3100, again, they will be very familiar with it and uh, you can install it if they don't already have it. If you are seeing Command Workstation installed at 5.4, you will definitely want to upgrade it to benefit from the modern features. If you are talking to Iridesk customers, then I would recommend that on the Fiery itself, I mean, on the um, external server itself, you do not update command workstation until there's a need. This is the recommendation from NTSG, from the support group. So on large equipment like iGens and Iridesk, um, I don't, and the recommendation is don't upgrade command workstation until you see a need. For smaller equipment, prime links and result, you can definitely upgrade it uh, if you want to. Also, let the customer know that you will upgrade Command Workstation for them and tell them why. There are some features, for example, integration with the paper catalog that will simply work better. Uh, if you have a Iridesk on the client side on their own computers, you will need to upgrade it to benefit from cost estimations, uh, setting up uh, underlay, overlay with clear and so on. If you are also upgrading Command Workstation on client computers, you might want to back up their imposition templates. You could consider doing a backup from Command Workstation. So that answers the when. And usually you would want to have it ready to go on a USB key to save time. You don't want to have to download it all the time. So second question is, where do you get it? This would be online. So again, if you have an external server, uh, an EX server for a C60, a Prime Link, or a, a Versat 180, you can very well leave it at the version it comes with. Now, for client customers, Google and type Fiery Drivers, and you'll see a support and download page to which you'll have to go to the download center and Fiery Drivers. And then here you'll have to register. Once you fill up this form and submit it, you'll have this page here, which is a download center. It's divided into three tabs, printer drivers, application software and tools, and a West image. So for printer drivers, you would use one after the other, those list box here, and you can go download the one you want. EXI means a normal bustled fiery, integrated. C is a new kind, a very tiny one in the back of the machine, and the normal external EX. Command Workstation sits in Application Software and Tools, and you can click on Fiery Command Workstation. If you are having users which who are familiar with the older user interface and don't want to move from that user interface, you can at least upgrade them to this one here. This will be the very latest of version 5, of the old sign. Now, the very latest is currently 6.5 SP1, so that's the one you would download. In here, you will have Windows and Mac, so you can download each. You can also click on the direct download to have the link uh, from which you can uh, email a customer so that they can download it at their convenience. Once you hit download, you can click accept and it's gonna start downloading. Once that's done, you will have the file here, it's going to show up in your downloads and folder. The other place you could download it would be on the printer. So if you go to the IP of the machine and navigate through the little options, so for example, if we go to Versat, usually you'll see this here. So you have to click on advance, you have to click to proceed, 
to finally end up on the web page of the machine. So FS200, the older priory looks like this, and the newer priories, FS350, 300, looks like this here. This is the warning message when something bad happened. And to do the software download, you can see that under software download here, you can download the client software, which is the installer for command organization, but it's gonna need internet to be able to download because this is just a shell. So you could very well download it straight from the printer, from their download center, or also from the command workstation web page. So if I do this, go to command workstation, I'll have the official web page, and this will show me the download, retrieve that little software. Again, this is a very tiny shell. It's going to install the Fiery Software Manager, which lets you download any of the Fiery related software. So there's three ways. I personally recommend you go to the software download center to download the very latest one.